Uh, Bloomberg News has learned two former regulators hired by Toyota in Washington helped shut down four investigations into sudden acceleration over the past decade. Lizzie O'Leary's in D.C. with that Bloomberg exclusive. Lizzie, what's up? Yeah, John, so there were eight investigations into sudden acceleration from 2003 to now. This team worked on four of them, and each of those four was shut down. We've got video of them. You see them there. Chris Tinto on the left, Christopher Santucci on the right. This is video we got from a lawsuit against Toyota. Both men were hired directly from NHTSA, and while other companies talk to NHTSA a lot, Toyota appears to be the only one who hired former NHTSA staffers for this role. They interact directly with their former colleagues. That's something that has raised a lot of concern, particularly among these lawyers who are suing Toyota now. If it was just one of them, you could make an argument that, you know, this is a one instance, this person's fairly highly qualified. But when you have two people, it's showing it's a pattern and practice of hiring people to cozy up to the regulators. So here are the investigations these two men worked on. You see them there into some of the earlier model year Camrys, 02 and 03. Then they also worked on the 06, 07 Camrys uh, and the 06, 07 Tacomas. Now, all of these investigations were ended after Santucci and Tinto talked about NHTSA's investigations with their former colleagues. They said in these depositions that they talked about the scope of the investigation, conveyed their concerns, and NHTSA's recognition of those concerns ultimately led the agency to reduce the scope. In one of these depositions, Christopher Santucci says, look, you can say it worked out well for Toyota. I think it worked out well for both the agency and Toyota. Now, neither of these men was available for comment. A spokeswoman for Toyota said they were acting ethically, consistently, and trying to keep customer safety at the top of their list. We should point out, however, that while there are bans on, say, what former lawmakers can do here in D.C., there's no ban on any kind of revolving door action at these safety agencies. Lizzie, thanks so much. Lizzie O'Leary joining us there from Washington, D.C.